So welcome back guys, my name is Amlan and in today's Make Launch Week campaign we go about looking at how we can use WhatsApp on multiple devices. So I have a Samsung M51 here and I also have a Redmi Note 9 Pro Max with me. The setup is like this. So I have a WhatsApp on this Samsung M51 which I now want to use on Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Not just this, I can use it on four devices thankfully because of WhatsApp new update of like linking four devices and that to going offline. So we can do all of that. And I presume that many of you already know of WhatsApp web, like how you can use WhatsApp on your mobile as well as on computer. That's by linking the computer or your Mac. Likewise, we now need to link the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max as far as WhatsApp is concerned. So we do this all with a third party app. And the way it works is I need to head towards Play Store. The third party apps, uh, there are quite few many as you can see here. The one that I recommend which contains like ads but still you can navigate to the main function is what can and like when I click open, you will see there are ads here but you can still like you know head towards the main thing so you can continue navigate to the main thing, give the app access permissions and then close this and this is the interface. Now anytime you want to link a device, you need the device WhatsApp scan code. So like the WhatsApp scan code basically. And now you will get the scan code. There you go. Now this is the scan code that I need to scan to link my Planet WhatsApp. So from the Planet WhatsApp what I do is I need to click on this little dot. Then click on link devices. Now please do note that this multi device beta. This you need to basically join. So in your WhatsApp, if it's the latest version, you may actually get this option prompting you to join the beta version. So go ahead and join the beta version. What will now happen is once you have joined the beta, even if your parent WhatsApp is offline, if you have linked devices, you can run WhatsApp on those devices with this still being offline. Well, anyways, if that doesn't make sense, it will in a while. So I now need to link the device. So this device needs to be linked. So link a device, which device? So I will first need to connect to net. So I will... Uh, put my Wi-Fi on now that my Wi-Fi gets turned on so I will now click to continue and I will just take and there you go you can see that it will try logging in and now as it does you will see everything will start getting loaded there and the same WhatsApp that you see here will should come here as well so Perfectly fine. I mean, you can see everything is there. Now, like if I send a message here, because you understand it's the same thing, it should go there as well. So if I send a message here, it will go there as well. So it's basically the same WhatsApp which is being run on both things. Now, please do understand that even if I uh, go offline here, like if I suppose say go offline, I decide to take out my Wi-Fi or take out my mobile data, as you can see, nothing is there. I can still, I can send messages and it should still go. You can see it's still going, which means I'm still online. So basically this thing, what you now saw wherein like the parent device even being offline, you can use it is courtesy the new WhatsApp, which allows you to like, you know, join the beta function and like in the beta function, you can see uh, your device no longer needs to stay online to use WhatsApp on web desktop or maybe on devices. So just now what we did with uh, this Redmi, like you are using concurrently WhatsApp on this device. Uh, well, you can, you could have added more devices like this. And you know, it just would be like another four devices. It could have been a Redmi, it could have been a Samsung, it could have been, been a different phone altogether. So go ahead and test this. Let me know in the comment section whether you could successfully use WhatsApp on multiple devices and that too with the parent device being offline. So this device can now go out of the picture and I can continue using WhatsApp here. So I can simply go back here and then like I keep typing messages as if that device is not there. So like once this has been signed in, like I can do stuff, whatever I want. And you can see it works absolutely fine. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Tap on the bell icon for notifications. Do share this with your friends and family. And let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts or queries. Use uh, your support really means a lot to me. Thank you for everything. I will catch you in the next one.